Good morning. Quick stop off at South Mims before heading to the Business Show 2014. It is going to be really noisy in there, so I may not be able to talk at all times, but I'll see what I can show you in the insight into the business world of networking and exhibitions. So I'll see you soon. We're likely to see a few bad examples of trade stands and how to how to operate a trade stand, um, but also really some of the, the good techniques. Who's really good at engaging the crowd and getting a, like a, a bee around a honey pot effect um, on the store. And you know, it'd be really interesting just to see the difference in the old school businessman style versus the new young sort of design consultancy sort of store. And this is one of the things you love, I suppose, when you love these get togethers and you love seeing what people are about. It's the whole thrill of business. So yeah, we don't know what we're gonna see, but hey, it'll be fun and tiring. So I'm now gonna give you some tips on how to survive just the normal things of being at, a, at an, an exhibition that's on all day. Don't pack a big warm coat, even if it's in winter. Just park close, have your warm stuff in the car, and just keep a really thin jacket that will just fit in your handbag because you will get really hot. And you'll find if you're picking up literature and paperwork and business cards and filling in different forms and chatter, 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 and negotiating crowds and all sorts of stuff, you'll be really losing lots of energy and you'll be getting really hot. Number two is also have loads of water the morning before you go so that when you get there, um, you're not as thirsty and dehydrated because again you'll be surprised how much fluid and hydration you're going to lose from talking to all the exhibitors. Have something that's really quick and easy to eat to give you some extra calories. So Mars bars, um, glucose bars and stuff like that that really help you to quickly get some energy because you really lose your Maybe you won't, depends how you are when you're talking to people, but I tend to find I get really, what's the word, slightly dizzy because I kind of run out of energy so quickly. So, they're my three tips. Look at all these dynamic hot shots. You can judge people, can't you? You don't really necessarily know anything about them. We're going in. Now this gentleman here was very lovely. He works on personality types and we actually matched up to have exactly the same priority. You can see in the background there the four networking stand. Smarter, I've heard that. I think it's a very good source for new starters to have a look at. For networking again, I was heavily involved with them a couple of years back in, as an area leader. It's really good, it's a national network. Have a look at that online. In a moment, you'll see Neil Clough. He was one of the finalists in the BBC's The Apprentice 2014. He's with the stand My Travel Pal in front of us, drinking from a cup in a black suit. No, it's not a cup, it's a bottle. I've done a separate video of him. Some of these people I didn't get to visit because I it was coming back, it was the back corner of the, the, the room. But as you can see, they have big halls full of speakers. You can't book in for these, but you can see the kind of people. Stefan Thomas at the top, I know him, he's a lovely guy. He's part of Four Networking. Look at this big room, it's fantastic, isn't it? So you've got all sorts of things here, legal help, um, all the sort of, you know, the advisory stuff from the government. You've got things from individual businesses, you know, the typical kind of services you'd find, that's, you know, bookkeeper, solicitors, um, but also you've got other support and other niche businesses as well. I'm just going to go into one of the seminars now. Doug Richard, who's one of the original Dragon's Den investors. So he's got lots to tell. This is a business startup seminar, so there'll be some goodies for me to share with you and some of his tips. And I'll probably put the link onto his website since he's done lots of sponsorship or, or mentoring with businesses. So I'm excited. Where's this guy? He's not actually coming, so let's move on. Behind me is an ingenious wall. It's full of people's business cards and requests for partnerships, 
um, for help for suppliers, providers and as you can see all kinds of different things so you can come and place an advert for something that you need help with or someone you need to find and then people can then put their card on your wall onto one of these um, uh, advertisements and then you come back and collect it and see who's come to see you. And I've graduated from the Business Startup Exhibition to the Great British Business Exhibition and I'm now in the main hall where most of the big stuff is going. All sorts of different speakers, it's just about going into the right ones to get the right information and so on. You have to use lots of due diligence, is that the word? Where you've really just got to use your uh, judgement to see if something's worth, worth your time. And also, so you've got to kind of avoid some conversations with people who will just talk, talk, talk and talk, who just aren't really slick and get to the point. And you'll also find salespeople who will want to sell you everything. Um, and anyway, yeah, time for some food. If you listen, this is Brad, Brad Burton, been in his organisation, one of his area leaders for 4 Networking. I'm going to try and catch him later and say hello, but Brad Burton is definitely a character. Um, he's like Marmite, you either love him or you hate him. Bless him. It's pretty hard work coming to these things, but it's really, really rewarding. So far I've had two French conversations and two Spanish conversations, and people are like, oh it's so cool that you speak French or Spanish or whatever. Yep, yeah, I've met some really, really nice people that you have a good bond with and you click straight away. The law of attraction puts people in your pocket, in your pocket, puts people in your path who sometimes you're destined to meet, aren't you? So um, <laughs> you have to really quickly just grab some contact details sometimes and just make your excuse to not talk to them or just kind of ignore them because you cannot talk to everybody. I'm going to see if I can get some interviews with local entrepreneurs and get their do's and their don'ts. Look who I got to meet and have a few minutes conversation with. Watch the video about him on my other channel. See this man? He likes my shoes. It's more than just networking here, you make friends and contacts and have a laugh as well. It's a good job there's a good business spirit in Britain. Over here you can see the stall holders. They do have a good etiquette for stands. They're all talking to people, they're open and friendly and they're not standing behind desks, they're in the front giving out bits. Coming up we have Zoho, it's something that I discovered a bit too late really but I'm, I'm currently in the process of getting it working, getting the systems in place to save me lots and lots of time and help my customers better. I'll put a link below so you can access their services. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your business? What do you do? Uh, I work for a company called WeBuyElectronics.com okay. and I'm the business development manager for the company. And we buy and sell electronics, um, iPads, uh, iPads, uh, any electronics products, and we have a website where we buy and sell from. Okay, so what brought you to the business show today? Just to try and develop more contacts, networks, uh, meet new people, ideas, kind of develop the business. Like we needed people who um, develop websites, marketing, and uh, also found a few people who will actually buy some of the products off us which we sell. And um, yeah, we're just, it's been quite good. Yeah. Fantastic, lovely. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy no the problem. Rest of the show. So I've just stopped this chap, so I'm going to ask him why he's come to the business show today. And who um, he is, who are you first of all? Well, I'm Gary Strong, so CEO of a company called Strong SEO, which is that stand over there. Okay, okay yeah. Uh, we're an online marketing company. This is our, my first expo show. Um, so we've had 24,000 traffic in two days, so it's been really exciting. Guest speaker earlier on, which was really kind of fun and nervous. Um, we've been, yeah, I've met lots of lovely people. Um, and um, yes, so we're going to come back again in May for another show. Fair enough. And uh, I just met you, um, and here I am doing this interview. Fantastic, thanks very much. Are there any tips that you could give um, brand new entrepreneurs or people thinking about starting a business? Yeah, um, carefully work out your business plan first before you invest money in things that you find that could be unnecessary later on and you're wasting money. So, 
have a have a good idea, vision of what you want to do first, and then uh, and then finance it later. Brilliant. Sounds good advice. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. So I just tried to find some ladies to talk to and get their opinions as well. I forgot what the first one said. There were, there were some who didn't want to come on because they were just happy to talk. They weren't in the mood to go on to video. Another lady, she was from Europe and she said that, well, she was young, quite young, a student. She said her college had told her that there were some tickets available that they could come and see. So she was quite interested in some of the business startup things. So she said it was really useful, really valuable um, in some of the workshops, the things she's learned to come along and, and do. So, so far. And I asked somebody else and she said, no, because it's going to be on the internet. And I was like, okay. Um, so I'm just going to try and see if I can find one more female to just balance it up a bit. You can see there are plenty of women here today, but there are many more males compared to females. So there we go. Business shows do also have their benefits. Yummy, yummy cakes and treats. Just stopped to have a quick break and just to take stock, there's a lot going on. It's been quite good that I've actually got a few people to talk on cameras, talk about themselves and there's, there's something here for everybody and whether you're a brand new business owner, you've just started and want some ideas, suppliers, different sources of information or you're actually thinking of starting a business and don't know where to start, there's something for you. Uh, you may be someone who's looking to sell your business or just to grow it further. I've found that it's been really buzzing, full of energy. Everyone's been quite happy, chatty, conversant. And I'm definitely gonna come back next year. I'm armed with even more ideas and ways to get the most out of the, the network today. I've met some really cool people. Sometimes you have you hit a level where you, you meet people who you resonate with. It's not just whose product you're interested in or whatever. And through those conversations, that's where you find out. Obviously, some people you don't even talk to, so you don't know who you've missed. But I tend to believe that you meet the people who you're supposed to meet during your life journeys and you can turn away or you can engage in conversation. Oh, also, I got given this thing, this gift. Do you know what it is? It's really weird, I can't tell what it is. I'll put it on the table. But I don't really, here's an advertisement for Evolve, whoever they are, but I don't know what that does. It's got a foam on it, squidgy foam, and then you take the end off, and it's like a, it could be a board rubber, but seriously, it's a bit of a weird board rubber. It could be a foam cleaner. But why have that middle bit? I thought perhaps it might be a bag cake, a bag hook to hook uh, your bag onto a table, but no table is that thick. This doesn't work. It's time for me to say goodbye now. I think I've put enough into this video to show you what it's like to be at the business show. Ciao! Try not to skid, I should have just wiped my feet. Have a better formula, a more grr, stronger, hard at it. For why did they do that?